Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for November. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind that this reading may or may not be for you. Not every reading you watch is for you. The timing is also fluid. This reading, I say it's for November, it could resonate right now, it could resonate in December. It could resonate in six months from now. It may not resonate at all. It may not be for you. So let's just see what comes up. Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini? November. Perhaps. Seven of Wands. Okay. You have multiple people coming after you by the looks of things. You're going to need to defend yourself, to protect yourself. You may be pushing people away. You may be feeling like you are under attack. You may feel like this is overwhelming. I mean, you, it's like there's so many people pointing at you. They're, everybody's pointing at you. They're all pointing at you. And you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, trying to fend off all these people. So you will be, you know, probably pushing people away or something like that. Meaning you will be defending yourself for sure. Hmm. Hangman reversed. This is, you've let go of something, right? You have let go of something. You're not hanging on to anything, right? You've, you're no longer resisting or something. Oh, let's get some more cards. Judgment reversed. Ace of Swords. Now, the Ace of Swords is a card of truth. It's a card of power. You know the truth. You have the power in your hands. And you notice she's, it, this person is pointing up at, at, up at the gods, right? It's like, you know. You, you are seeing a situation absolutely clearly. But we have, uh, you know, this hang. I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, this is uh, no chance. There's no chance. There's no chance of reconciliation. None. No chance. No chance of, of, somebody has been, hasn't been telling the truth. They've been lying and you know the freaking truth. You know the truth. Now this hangman reverse, this is, you're not holding on anymore. You've already became enlightened, right? You are, you're wide awake. You are, you are wide awake. But somebody may be unaware that you are awakened. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, we have, this is, this is worried. We have somebody here that is, you, is very stressed out. You may be stressed out. You may find your, find yourself stressed out. You may be having a hard time sleeping. You may be you may have some sort of fear. Um, you may have a lot going on. You may be overworking a little bit. Maybe you, you need to get a little bit more sleep. Um, people are definitely after you. It almost feels like these are news reporters as well. You may have some people coming to you. Uh, I don't know where. I've never said that with this card. Some It's like the people may be coming to you to uh, give a report or something. Weird, huh? Interesting. Um, Knight of Pentacles. Now this is a test. You are going to be tested. You may be tested from somebody that you already let go of. We talk about this shit all the fucking time. I'm so sick of it. I am. I am very much Gemini. Um... We have this, this element of sadness here. Worried. You're going to need to protect yourself. It's like somebody is coming towards you with an opportunity. They are. You are going to be tested by somebody. Somebody that you already let go of. They, they, they might want another chance. They might want forgiveness, but... It's like, and you may be asking the universe for clarification. You may be asking God for the answer. Just saying, you may be like, oh my God, please give me the answer. Maybe you don't know what to do. You may not know what to do and you're asking for an answer here. 
Three of Swords reversed. This is uh, let go of the pain. Releasing the pain. Let go of the past hurts. Leave the past hurts behind you. That is your answer. Let go. There's no chance that this is going to really work out. I feel like there's somebody that you have let go of that wants to come in with something. They may, they're going to come to you with something. Now, this could be anybody. This is, I mean, you may have multiple people here. But you have multiple people here. So I think, and that's the overall energy of the card. I mean, of the of the month. Protect yourself, defend yourself. You know, you look at the cat even. I mean, this is the overall energy of the month. I mean, it's just like this cat's got, is like got his back arched up. It's like ready to fight. You're going to, you know, you're going to be dealing with some adversity this month. Okay. You're probably going to be in defense mode. You're probably going to be ready to attack whoever these people are, whether it's a people or a person. You may be under attack. Some, you may be under attack. You may be worried. You may be worried about being attacked. I mean, that could be, certainly be a worry. I don't know. Um, this is unaware, though, the judgment card. Now, um, you may be unaware or somebody may be unaware that you have already let them go or something like that. What the hell is this? Wheel of Fortune. <gasps> Change of course. Wheel of Fortune. Now this is a cycle that has already come to an end. You have let go of something and you have changed your direction, right? You have changed your direction. The lovers. You're going to have a choice. You're going to have a choice this month in November. A choice between at least two people. Yes, sir. You absolutely are. Um, you probably have a choice between somebody in your past and somebody new. Now, somebody in your past doesn't have to be the last ex. I found that out multiple times with my readings, okay? So, there is somebody There is somebody that wants a reconciliation with you. Absolutely, there is. You know, um, but I think that cycle has already ended. You've already let go of something. You've changed your direction. Now there's an unexpected choice in love with somebody that you have a spiritual connection with. I mean, you have a spiritual connection with this person. This is your reward for passing a test. So, uh, because this is my test card. Now, this is probably you have a choice between the one that hurt you and the one that hasn't even hurt you yet. <laughs> okay? So you're definitely going to have a choice here. That is what the lover's card is. And you will be reevaluating. Six is our number of reevaluation. You'll be reevaluating, you know, your um, choice this month. You're going to have the power absolutely in your hands. And I think that you will probably be asking uh, somebody from above, you know, what you should do. That's what it looks like to me. Now, this is something good that's on its way. The Wheel of Fortune, good, something good. This is, whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose. This is a lucky break. So, you it's like you are, something is changing in your life. You're going to be given the opportunity of choice, for sure. Whether you want to choose who, who you want to choose. Uh, now, this is... Uh, the Six of Swords, that's moving away from a troublesome situation. I think that you are probably, you're going to have an opportunity, some of you are going to have an opportunity to literally pack up and move, okay? Um, move to a new destination. This is destiny. You may have an opportunity to pack up and move to a new destination. You're probably going to be given an opportunity. Somebody may come into your life. Um... I don't know. Maybe you end up falling in love with them instantly. I mean, it could be an instant attraction. It could be. Um, you don't even see it coming. I don't think you, that you do. I really don't. And I feel like this is this is so... Uh, it feels so good that you just want to go. I feel like you just want to go. And I think it's going to happen. Look at the leaves. It is gonna, it's going to happen this month. Another six. 
you're going to be reevaluating your destination. Maybe, maybe uh, things are. Maybe you're changing your destination. You know where. Maybe you thought you were going to go someplace else, and now you're going to go someplace else. You know what I mean? So this is a change in destination right here. Somebody could actually be moving or planning. This is planning because you could be planning a move. Maybe you were planning to move in one place, and think plans change. Something like that, um, perhaps. Oh my God, six, six, six. It's funny that I mentioned six. I, I mentioned six with only one six. Six, six, six. This, this is a month of reevaluation. That is no doubt. Look it up. Six, six, six. This is a, that sixes are about the journey, the journey to balance and harmony. So you're going to be reevaluating your journey. You're going to be reevaluating your future. You're going to be reevaluating what you deserve, where you want to go, what's going to be bring you the most balance in your life. Seriously. And you're going to have an opportunity to go someplace with somebody else. Okay. There is a deep connection here. There is a very deep connection, Gemini. I don't know if I can get this thing to focus. It doesn't like to. Here we go. I don't know what the hell's the matter with this freaking camera. In and out, in and out. Anyhow, um, it's destiny. This is destined and this is destined. So this is a month of destiny for you. The Wheel of Fortune is destiny and the Lover's card. So you are going to come together with, and this is very sudden. This is, this is unexpected. So you, you could run into somebody unexpectedly or come together with somebody unexpectedly and it just changes everything. It changes everything. Um, you're going to be facing some serious choices this month. Justice. This is remember I said the journey to balance and harmony. Take a look at the scales. That is about balance. So you will be taking a journey. You're going to be taking a journey for sure. And whatever's happening is going to bring you balance. This is some sort of karma, but I think this is good karma. I think that you and this is getting some sort of receiving something, receiving. You could be receiving money this month, a big payout or something, maybe even an inheritance for some of you. I don't know what this is, but this is receiving money. There could be an increase in money or an increase of stability. Somebody wants to give you something. Somebody could give you a gift which enables you to move because Six of Swords is moving. This could be an inheritance. It could be an inheritance. I don't know if it is. Um, this could be a ruling that rules in your favor that gives you some money. Um, it feels like you're going to be receiving a gift from somebody this month. Um, and it has to do with financial gain. I think that, and it's going to help you to move someplace else, whatever, however that message applies to you. Um, I think there is a new lover here. This is somebody that is not your usual type, but you have a deep spiritual connection with this person. It's not who you think it is, by the way, just so you know, it's not who you think it is. Just so you know, I had to say that again, because we get these people who always think who they, that I know who this is. No, this is not who you think it is. That's the meaning of the lover's card. Okay, this is not who you think it is. This is good. This person that is coming to in, into your life is going to help you to leave behind the past hurts. They're going to help you to finish letting go of whoever it is that you have been hanging on to. They're going to help you, you know, to move to that new destination with ease, whoever that person is, this new person. Ace of Cups. Well, by golly, you got a new love here, a new beginning in love. Absolutely. You do. You got. You got a new lover here. You got a new opportunity. You have a new beginning in love. If you are in a coupled relationship, I feel as though <sighs> expect the unexpected because you could have somebody come into your life unexpectedly that changes everything. I just got to be honest with you. If you have been happily married for ten years or whatever, then this reading is not for you. Because there's there's really no reason for you to watch a, a love reading if you are happily married. Um, somebody is going to get what they deserve. 
Okay, this is karma. And this is what you deserve. And this is what you deserve. And this, whatever it is that you deserve, is going to be emotionally fulfilling. Okay? It's going to fill your heart up with love. You're going to be right in your glory. You absolutely are. The lovers in the Ace of Cups, you're going to be right in your glory, Gemini. This is a month of love. Things changing from the for the better. The wheel of fortune. This is reward. This is a this is karma and destiny and fate. It's karma, destiny, and fate. Right there. That's what it is. Love, fate, and destiny. I don't know why I put that up today. I do not. But this is love, fate, and destiny. You it is. Love, fate, and destiny. Love. Fate and destiny. That's where you're at, Gemini. And this is you receiving a golden opportunity. And it's because you pass a test. You, it's like you, you push somebody away. You, you do pa push somebody away. You do. It's like there's, there's an, it, it, it starts out as worried. You may be, you may be worried. You may be feeling like you're going to be alone for the rest of your life. If you're single, you may feel like you're never going to be happy and all, and you don't even know, you don't even know that somebody is coming into your life. You don't see it. You're totally unaware. You are totally unaware of it. And then all of a sudden this thing happens and it's like, you probably like, I can't, this is too good to be true. And you're asking God or your higher power, whoever you're saying, are you serious? You know, that's what this looks like to me. It's like, wow, wow. Um, you've manifested this by the way. Okay. We have this 11, one, one. Okay. 11, 11. So, 1111, this is, you've manifested this soulmate. This is a soulmate. This is somebody that you are meant to be with at this time in your life. Um, it's a soulmate connection. This is, this is, and this is like the universal law. It's like the universe is, is bringing you, they're giving you this new opportunity. They are. You are about to be given an opportunity that you did not even see coming, especially if you are single. If you are in a coupled relationship, it feels as though... Uh, <sighs> this is a new idea, a new approach. It's a new thing. And this is a new love. And this is a choice in love. I really feel like you guys are going to be... Something is going to show up that you did not expect. Because six is a reevaluation. Reevaluate, reevaluate, re reevaluate. You're going to be reevaluating re -evaluating your future. You're going to be reevaluating your decisions. You're going to be reevaluating your choices. You're going to be reevaluating your life path. This is going to be a big month of reevaluation, Gemini. And you have something unexpected being given to you that is probably going to shock you in some way. Um, whatever this is, it does have to do with karma. I feel like um, that you have been in a state of suspension. You've been in a state of limbo. You've been waiting for a while. The waiting is over. The, the waiting is over. You, there may have been some delays and you thought it was never going to come. Here it is. Here it is. I hope this reading is for you. Hope. Oh, what did I just get done saying? They do this to me all the time. You know they do. I just got done saying, I hope. <laughs> Unbelievable. You saw me shuffle and that's why I shuffle on camera. Your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they see you're at a low point. And I can see that somebody has been at a low point. Whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope. I think that your loved ones in the spirit world are bringing you together with somebody after you have lost hope. You're, you're in a state of self-doubt here. It's like you, you probably feel like you're going to be alone forever. I don't think that's the case, especially if you're single. Um, you're about to receive something. And, you know, karma is real. And this is reap what you sow. And this one is too. So I think whoever whoever it is that hurts you, they may be receiving some karma as well. One more card for Gemini, please. 
I think that who is this person that is coming in? It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Gemini, another Gemini. Um, could be a Libra. Appreciation. So I think that you guys have been uh, lacking in the appreciation department. But I feel like things are about to turn around with that Wheel of Fortune card. And somebody is going to come into your life that is really going to appreciate you. And I think the universe appreciates you as well. Because you see this law, I keep looking at it. It's like universal law. Now this person could work for the law okay this person could have some sort of job that deals with the law this could be a lawyer could be somebody it could be a family lawyer it could be an estate lawyer it could be um, a corrections officer it could be a police officer it's somebody that or somebody that works in the government somebody that uh, is protective this is somebody that works in some level of protection, you know? I think that's whoever this person is. This person knows the law, okay, in some way, okay? Or has to abide by the law. It has something to do with the law, okay? Um, and this converts to a six. So we have a lot of sixes here. Six, 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 six. Your life is about to change. I think that you are moving in a new direction and you are headed towards balance and harmony. This is a destined change, of course. That last chapter that you have been in that was so... Uh, well, we have the hangman reverse that you were hung on to for so long that caused you so much uh, loneliness. Whatever. I think that's over. I do. I think it's over be prepared expect the unexpected whoever is coming into your life it's like they're gonna they're gonna fill your heart right up and I think you're, you're gonna be very surprised good luck